This is Hands-On Equations Lesson 4, where we, where we will learn even more legal moves. Let's set up this problem. 2x plus 4 equals 10. In the last lesson, we learned that for legal moves, you could remove one pawn from each side at the same time and still keep the balance, still keep the scale balanced. Well, this time we're going to change it a little bit so that we are not only saying if one pawn, but if anything that's the same value is removed at the same time from each of the each side of the balance, it still balances. So since I do not have two pawns on this on either side, I do have number cubes on either side. And so if I were to take a value that was equal from both sides, this balance would still balance. My smallest amount is 4, so I'm going to remove a value of 4 from both sides. So I'm going to just take this one away, but I can't necessarily take a 4 cube away because I don't have one. So I have to think about if I were to take away 4, what would I be left with? Well, 10 minus 4 would be 6. So again, using two hands, just like with the pawns, I'm going to have take this one away, and at the same time, I'm going to change this to a 6, which represents taking away 4. So it looks like this. So I removed 4, and I also removed 4 over here. Now I can see that something added to itself should equal 6. Well, it would be 3. And if I went back to the original physical setup, which would have looked like this, I'm going to try to see if 3 works. 3, 6, plus 4 is 10, equals 10. So from this example, we can see that there are two kinds of legal moves. Like we learned in lesson 3, we can take away the same number of pawns. But another legal move is to take away the same value from the cu cubes. Each time, remember to take away something from both sides at the same time. And always remember to use two hands as you remove them. So let's try together three examples as we practice both kinds of legal moves. So this has 4x's plus a value of 5. On the other side I have 2x's plus a value of 13. It's going to be easiest to do 10 and 3 to represent 13. Now I'm going to start with taking away pawns, doing legal moves, removing the same thing at the same time from both sides. I can take away another pawn from both sides. Now I can take away a 5 from both sides. So I'm going to think about that I'm going to remove this one altogether. 13 minus 5 is going to make 8. So at the same time I take this away, I'm going to change this entire side to 8. There we go. So now I can see that something plus itself equals 8. I think it should be 4. So I'm going to fill in 4 here, because 4 plus 4 is 8. But in order to check it, just like before, you must rebuild the equation back to what you started with. So on this side it was a 5, and over here I had 13. Now I'm going to go through and check 4 by replacing each pawn with 4. 4, 8, 12, 16 plus 5 would make 21. And then over here, 4, 8, 18, 19, 20, 21. So 4 does work as the value of x. Next example, yeah, this one and one more. I'm going to clear my board and first start with two x's, then another x and then another x, and then a value of 2. On the right hand side I had two x's and a value of 10. So now I'm going to first use my legal moves to remove my pawns. I'm going to take away a pawn from each side, and I can take away another pawn from each side. Now I can take away a 2 from each side. The 2 is the smaller number, so I can take away 2 here, and when I subtract the 2 from the 10, what's this going to become? If you said 8, you're correct. So as I watch as I remove them at the exact same time. And now I see that something plus itself should equal 8. The x should equal 4. And just like before, you always build back your original equation. 2 over here, this was a 10. 
Let's check two x's, another x, two more x's, and a 2. There's two x's and a 10. Okay, I do have it matching what I originally started with, and now I'm going to check to see if 4 makes sense. 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18. So the left-hand side equals 18 when x equals 4. Now I'm going to try this side. 4, 8, plus 10 equals 18. So this does, in fact, check as correct. One more example to practice my two kinds of legal moves would be 1x plus 3x plus a 3. On the opposite side, I have 1x and then 18. There's an 8. Now I can start by doing a legal move to remove a pawn from each side. Now I can remove a 3, a value of 3 from both sides. So if I remove a 3 from here, it'll leave nothing. If I um, subtract 3 from 18, it will make 15. So I'm going to do that at the exact same time. And now I see that 3 of something, some number, 3 times, makes 15. Well, I know that 5, 10, 15 makes 15. So the x must equal 5. And I'm going to go back to the beginning to check it. Put back a pawn on each side. Put back a 3 and change this back to an 18. Now I'm going to check it with the filling in a 5 for the value of x. 5, 10, 15, 23. The left hand side equals 23. On this side, I started with 18 plus 5 is 23. And it does check. So as you get ready to complete worksheet number four, lesson number four, on um, these problems, please practice re, um, using both kinds of legal moves, using the um, taking away your pawns and taking away, value, taking away values that are equal. Here you will use any of those methods as you do the previous work, but, but every time it's important to me that you use the pawns and the cubes. Don't try to just do it in your head. Make sure you're using the pawns and the cubes. And make sure as you do your legal moves that you're removing um, the objects with two hands at the same time. Have fun on lesson four.